bro chicas welcome to a new vlog in my new house um before i unpack this i wanted to show you that we did some shopping for the house so far we just got household stuff but i want to show you we got a microwave because there's actually no microwave here so all right so here is the new microwave i've never heard of this brands before galans but this is so cool it's a microwave an air fryer and a convection oven three in one so we thought that was pretty cool uh so we chose this one here's what it looks like i wanted white because the fridge is white and the stove is white but the dishwasher is black but whatever um yeah, so i'm just unboxing it now we have some chinese food we're gonna heat up we're really hungry. I think I need to wait for hubby to lift that up. Another thing we got, by the way, we got this from Walmart. That was $109. We also got a TV stand. Oh, I was going to ask you to help me get that out of there. And I was actually thinking of putting it over here. I have to read the instructions, but... It comes with these, what do you call them, tools, um, thingies, utensils, I don't know, not utensils, what do you call them? Uh -huh. I don't know, <laughs> cooking Com pieces? Components? Um, components um, for the air frying and the convection, and then it's also got, obviously, the glass turntable. So depending on how you're going to use it, it's got the different parts. Hey, so it is Thursday, October 28th, and... Um, this is our last day in the hotel, so as soon as hubby gets home from work, we are going to go head over to the new house. So I took a shower today, the kids had a shower, um, I went and like packed up so the suitcases are packed, um, almost everything is like packed and ready to go. I got super hungry so I wanted to get some lunch, but because... If you saw my empty house tour, which is live now, go check it out if you haven't already. Um, my car broke down yesterday when we were on the way to the house. So it's actually in the shop until tomorrow. So I can't really go anywhere. So I went down, luckily there's a snack bar here in the hotel and I got a couple things. I got a Hot Pocket <laughs> and, cause we have a microwave in here. And I got this Lara bar. It's peanut butter and chocolate chip. And then randomly, I felt like a coffee would taste really good right now. So I got the Starbucks Frappuccino, just regular coffee. And then, of course, I have some water. Um, so, yeah, I'm about to eat my Hot Pocket. I'm watching Charmed. I'm just relaxing. Hubby should be home in a couple hours. So that's what we're doing. But I'm so excited to get out of this hotel. I'm seeing that you guys are loving the empty house store. Super happy that you love that video and that you love my new house. It's not for everyone. I actually was like a little self-conscious um, at first because I was like, I used to be the type that was like, oh, I gotta be like the YouTubers and they have everything fancy and they're rich and they got these fancy houses and like all this modern decor. <sighs> And I'm just not that. And I think that that's why you guys love me. And that's why I love me. is because I'm just a real ass bitch. And I like what I like. And sometimes I like trends and sometimes I don't. But I don't like the trend of everybody trying to have like a perfect brand new home. And everybody looks the same. That's so boring. So I love so much that you guys appreciate and like my old old home <laughs> my old new home um because I love it too I don't want to change too much about it I don't want to change the character of it but I think like fresh paint could go a long way with it um but yeah so I'm glad you guys like it it makes me really happy that I can be my real self with you guys and like what I like like that's just who I am I like my old house and I don't need it to be perfect and modern for like the backgrounds and like pictures and like expectations that we think we have to live up to because we put ourselves on the internet like no um i'm just a real ass person and i like what i like so yeah that's my hot pocket i'm gonna go eat that the progress in the pod almost halfway through good morning bro Gigas. it's the first morning in my house um i made a cup of coffee i'm 
whispering because we all slept in the living room last night and the kids are still asleep. It's only, <laughs> it's only 5.30 in the morning. This was the only cup I could find. <laughs> it's a good Christmas cup. Um, sorry. Um, so yeah, I made a cup of coffee and I'm trying to like put some stuff away quietly while they're sleeping because I can't sleep anymore. I woke up with some heartburn. I wanted to show you guys <clears throat> the rest of my Walmart haul from the other day. Um, so I needed some soap. So I got this big box of Dub soap. I was gonna get a smaller one, but this was the only one they had in the Winter Care. So this is the Winter Care Limited Edition. It restores and nourishes dry winter skin. And I've been like really itchy. What's the matter? Oh, she wanted to come up. I've been like really itchy on my skin and my scalp. And I think it's just me adjusting to the colder weather. So I wanted to get the winter, the winter care one. So there's eight bars in there. I think it was like $8.97 for eight bars. So that's pretty good. Okay, next. I got a new shampoo and conditioner from Mila and I. And then I got Suave, and this is the Keratin Infusion Smoothing Shampoo for frizzy hair. Just cause I think Keratin like helps it look shiny and smooth when you're wearing your hair down. So, um, plus this smells so good. This smells really fresh and clean. Um, so it's 28 fluid ounces. I think I paid like $3 each. So we will try those out. Bailey's exploring the countertop. <laughs> okay, and then I needed some shower hooks and shower curtains. So I got two of these, they're just different colors, but they're the same thing. Silver for hubby's bathroom. And this one is like a bronze finish for my bathroom. And I like these because if you see on the back, it's a double hook. So you don't, you know how usually you have to like put the front one on then Bailey. She's opening the little window. Bailey. Um, usually you have to put the front one and then put the other one. So I don't know. It just gets annoying if you know what I mean. Anyways, this way they have their own hook. So right now, <clears throat> so I got these, I think they were like seven or eight bucks each. Um, and then I just got some clear liners for right now because I'm gonna order a nice shower curtain on Amazon. So this is a lightweight shower liner in clear. So it's just a liner for each bathroom. We're gonna get like curtains later, so. All right, we got some Irish Spring for the boys' bathroom. We got some Clorox wipes. I don't know if I like these. I don't know if I like these. They're like actually paper towels and they don't rip right. I don't know, they rip really weird, but they're jasmine scented and they're multi-purpose. They smell pretty good though, I will say that. But just for like wiping everything down. <clears throat> Mila got this for a Halloween, like a last minute Halloween costume. Um, it is, it was $4.97. It's got three pieces. It's got a little bow, a headband, and then a tail. She's going to be a unicorn. And then Austin got this one. And this is a Space Jam. Um costume and it was like 15 bucks so that's what she's gonna be for halloween can't believe halloween's in like two days my kids are out anyways i'm gonna go back to organizing um i'll show you guys what i get done we also did a little mini like food shop yesterday too um just like bare minimum stuff but 
Oh, she's definitely going to get through. Okay, see you later. Um, let me show you what she looks like right now because it's hilarious. <laughs> Remember how there's that little window from my kitchen to my sitting room? She just found a way to open it and she's like sitting over there. <laughs> But yeah, I'm watching a video by Shan Shortcake Beauty. I think that's her name on YouTube. Shannon. I'm watching a YouTube video and I'm just going to continue organizing and I'll show you what I get done later. Okay, small victories. Um, we have one shower curtain up. So we just need to go buy a nice one for the outside. I did put a bar of soap in there for them. I'm actually making a second cup of coffee because I already finished my first one and it was just so good. I want another one. All right, so I can finally show you guys the deck. Um, that's the slider door from the living room. So I'm gonna stand at the slider door and when you're looking out, we got this deck here. That's like, a, uh, you can put some chairs right there. This is like a bench, which is cool. And then you turn over here. And you go down the stairs and there's a whole other deck there. Isn't that cool? Love it. Great for entertaining. Um, we've got a nice big backyard. I love it. That's our shed. It's huge, which is awesome. Oh, I love all the trees. Look at these yellow leaves, you guys. Ah, they were falling just a few minutes ago, like a bunch of them, and it looks so pretty. All right, another update. I put my vanity together, um, brought my makeup upstairs, got some of my luggage upstairs, and got some stuff in the bathroom. That's not how it's gonna stay, but I got my trash can up here, shampoos and soaps in there. I got my shower liner up. All right, I wanted to show you guys the situation in the sitting room. We just dumped a bunch of stuff from the pot in here. So I'm like slowly going through it and putting things away as best I can. Good morning, Brochigas. It's been a few days since I've vlogged. Um, sorry about this appearance. I got mascara coming down. So... It is November 1st today. It's Monday. Um, last night was Halloween, obviously. I put makeup on me and I put makeup on Mila for the costume. And I don't know where I put my makeup wipes. I cannot find them. And it's driving me insane. That's how it is when you move, you know, or it's just so annoying. Like, you just know that you have things. But you don't know where they are. You have so much crap to go through, and you know you're going to find it eventually, but you don't have it when you need it. So that's why I look like this. Um, I just drank a cup of coffee. It's about 8 o'clock in the morning. I'm watching Vampire Diaries. Um, I was just uh, looking at the footage that I had for this vlog, <clears throat> and a lot has changed since the last time I vlogged. Um, we have the couches in here, as you can see, we've got the TV up, we've got everything in here. The pod is empty. We've got everything in the house. Um, the other day on Saturday, sorry, uh, my mom and her fiance came to help us with the rest of the pod. And that's when we got it all finished up and the beds are upstairs and all that. And then they slept over so we could go out to dinner and have some drinks and stuff. They live an hour, well, 45 to an hour away. So you definitely don't want to like drive after you've had some drinks. I I don't like that. So <clears throat> I was like, why don't you guys like sleep over so we can um, go to dinner and have some drinks and just like have a fun night. So we had a really fun night. I love that I'm so close to my mom. I love hanging out with her. And it was awesome. Um, some of my, uh, husband's family members came to see the house. Um, yesterday we went to actually our hometown, well, not our hometown, but like where we went to high school, we went to that town to go trick or treating with some of my husband's side of the family's, uh, family members. Um, that was fun. 
And yeah, now today is Monday. It's during the week. Hubby's at work, obviously. So that means I got work to do. I just, my job now is just making this house a home. Um, so <clears throat> the kitchen is pretty, pretty much done. It might get switched around, but I have like all the glasses and the plates and the bowls put away. All the utensils are away, spice cabinet, all that's good stuff. Like it's all set up to use. Um, let me show you what the living room looks like. Now I just want to preface and say, um, it's obviously messy because, you know, we're still unpacking and, oh God, I had to stretch. I'm sorry. <laughs> we're still unpacking obviously, but yeah, so it's going to look messy, but we're getting there. It's progress. So here are the couches. We need to buy an end table, so that's going to go on my list. I want to go thrifting at some point this week and look for an end table. And then also, um, I want a little, what do you call it, some sort of little table or shelf for the bathroom upstairs. Um, but yeah, this is the situation. We've got the credenza over here <clears throat> with the TV. The other credenza here. Now, you guys, this floor slopes really badly. Um, old houses obviously have slopey floors because they're old. And also, uh, this used to be a shed once upon a time that they at, they put on the house as an addition. So this didn't this wasn't here a long, long time ago. But anyways, it slopes down here. And so we have this credenza here, but if you can see, it's crooked. So I have to get some, um, I forget what they're called. Oh my God, I'm going to lose my mind. I forgot what they're called, but you put them underneath the leg and it'll level it out. So I got to do that. But I don't know if I showed you, we have the dining room up. I mean, the dining room table is together. So that's good. I got some pictures. I'm going to organize them differently, but I just put them on the shelves for now. But yeah, um, and the beds are all upstairs, but we need uh, we need to get bed frames. So Austin has a box frame, which is good. He's nice and comfy. We've never had a bed frame for him. He's always just been on the box spring and mattress. I just don't like bed frames. Uh, let me know if you're like this. Maybe, I don't know. I know it seems like, whoa, you don't have bed frames, but yeah, we just don't use them. I just don't really like them. But here's the thing. Our stairs are so steep that they couldn't get the queen mattress upstairs. So what they had to do was ratchet strap it um, and make it into like a burrito, like a taco. They had to squish it with a ratchet strap and then put it up the stairs because like it was so narrow. Um... And the angle that it was at, the queen bed was not fitting. So they got the queen bed upstairs, but now they can't, uh, we're going to have to get rid of our box spring. There's no way that's going to fit because box springs don't bend. So we can't get the box spring up there for us, which really sucks. Mila doesn't have a box spring. She had a bed frame. It broke in the pod. So that's really unfortunate. Um, so we need to buy her a platform bed frame and we need to buy us a platform bed frame. Because if we bring it upstairs and put it together, it'll be fine. But we can't bring anything that big through the stairs. It just doesn't work out. It's just way too narrow and steep. Um, so that's like a setback about the house. Like I knew the stairs were going to be difficult. But we plan on in the future. I mean, God only knows when. I don't know when. But in the future... We want to see if we can renovate the stairs because the previous owners had a plan to do that, but they didn't get to it. But I want to renovate the stairs going into the sitting room so that it has more space and won't be as steep. So we'll change the direction of the stairs. Yeah, that would be like a demo. But we have a plan to do that at some point in the future. I don't know how much that's going to cost, but I feel like... It would be nicer to not have as much as steep of stairs um, as much as I want to keep the character in this house. That's one thing I'm like, OK, that can go. Yeah, I don't need to have narrow, steep stairs. That's very frustrating. Like if we wanted to buy a king bed or something like we would be screwed. 
we would not be able to get it up there which is so confusing because in the pictures when we bought this house they definitely had a king bed in their master bedroom and I don't know how I, they got it up there um either way that's just plans for the future I'm just babbling on um hopefully this vlog was enjoyable I'm not sure uh, but I think I'm just gonna upload it because it's got pretty like old footage on it so I think I'm gonna go ahead and upload this and get to work today probably start a new one so thank you guys so much for watching this vlog love you guys so much for sticking with me and I love how much you guys are commenting re commenting recently thank you so much for being so active on my channel I really appreciate it it really helps me out don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not subscribed already and I will keep you updated on what's going on in the King household so I will see you guys in the next one bye